All right, hey everybody, David Henry here from Learn Stage Lighting. And in this video, the 30 days to becoming a lighting ninja, I wanna talk about kind of a part two of how to lay out your lighting console when you don't know the music. And so um, there's a couple things I just wanna cover, kind of a couple um, things to help save you um, time and frustration and, and really help you run a great show live. So the first, uh, I'm gonna be in DMXs here and I'm also gonna be in MPC, so I've got them both open. And the first thing that I'm going to do is walk you through some basic cues um, that I build to save things. So one of the things I do is I actually go in here and I go through all my fixtures. And this is just a blank DMX to show that I just loaded. But I build a couple scenes where I take them to a color like blue, red, something like that. And I grab, I select all the channels. So I literally go through here from channel one all the way through all my channels. Say I use all 512 and I select all those channels and I go ahead and I turn the oscillator off and I go ahead and I turn the sound tracker to zero. Okay. And then, and then I go ahead and I just, you know, grab those and I put them in a macro in DMXs. Say I put them all in blue. Um, I might put them all in red for another one. And then I go ahead and I save that. You can use the general bank or just make uh, a general presets bank and, and save these as, um, you know, like a red oscillator stop. And I know you can't see this because it showed up on my other screen. Just having a few scenes in there that stop all your effects is really helpful to be able to have something that um, you can just go to real quick in case the music stops real suddenly because sometimes that happens. You might not be anticipating a song's ending and then it does and you need to stop all your effects. Now, inside of a console like MPC, that's actually a lot easier. And the reason why that's easier is because it has the ability built in, say I go here to my Compose tab and uh, to Effects program, it's actually got effects stops built in right here. Right now they're at 41 through 44, dimmer off, pan tilt off, colors off, and iris off. And so I would literally just go ahead, select all my fixtures here in MPC, put them to the off position for all the effects or individual. I actually like to put them on buttons, have a playback button um, for all dimmer effects off, all pan tilt off, all color off, all iris off, and then one that's all effects off. And what these are gonna do is then stop those effects, but keep the look that you already have on the stage. And so that's, that's a really helpful tip as well. Now, one last thing that I really like to do that I wanna share with you guys, let me just clear up my programmer so it's not confusing is I like to work for my programmer a lot, okay? So this is your programmer window, and this is where you can bring things live. And inside of MPC, there's actually um, a cool couple things that you can do. So MPC, first of all, has a function called live time. And what that does is, say I'm in my groups and presets here, when I select a group and, and put it in a color, it just snaps to that color. If you've used MPC before, you know that, okay, I, I select something, I put it in a color, a position, whatever, the lights go there automatically right away. It's how a lot of consoles work. But in MPC, I can actually go ahead and set a live time. So I set that to one second. And now any changes I make in my programmer are going to happen at this live time. So when I press my group and then send it to a color, it's actually going to fade in over one second. That's really cool. Now, MPC takes this a step further, if I pull up my keypad here, with Preview, which is like blind in other consoles, but it has a little extra twist to it. So say I go in, I have my programmer in Preview here, and I select some fixtures. Maybe I select all my fixtures. I put them in a color. I put some other fixtures in another color. I assign some gobos. I assign some intensity. I get a whole bunch of stuff ready in there. I've got my lifetime set to the time that I want. And when I'm ready to hit go, basically, on the console, I can hit preview. And then that's going to fade in my fixtures at that live time. And, and it works as well when you hit preview again to fade that out. In fact, you just kind of saw it happen here on this visualization. And so that's really cool because, well, um, you want to be prepared with your different faders and with your buttons in a professional console like MPC, you know, you want to be able to have enough stuff prepared on the faders, on the buttons, um, to be able to make a great show out of just that. 
Sometimes inspiration strikes and you want to do something else live out of the programmer. And you can totally do that without anyone knowing that you didn't have that pre-programmed. And so those are kind of my big tips there is just make sure you have an effect stop. And then if you do have a console like MPC, that's going to allow you to work from the programmer, you know, take advantage of that and, and figure out how to do it slickly like the preview and live time function inside of MPC. All right, guys. So I'll see you guys tomorrow. We're going to talk about laying out your lighting console. When you do know the music, I'm going to go over a few different consoles and how I like to do that. So make sure you catch that here. And also that you catch the free guide for things you really need to know before you buy any lights. And I'll see you guys back here tomorrow here on YouTube. Thanks.